for those who follow um, follow her on follow Bunsey Ministries, whether on Facebook or all the various other things that she has, I'm I want to challenge you at this time to press that share button mm -hmm. and to tell all your friends so that they can follow her, and of course. If the Lord Hallelujah. leads you and you want to make a contribution to her ministry, feel free. Sister Paula, they would. Hallelujah. Beloved child of God, 2021, we are in a new year. I'm here to bless you with the word of God. There are many people saying many things in this world. Do you know that you need to declare the word of God? We need to speak the word of god you are alive you are still planted in the earth it is not too late for you to make a difference in the life of someone it is not too late for you to make a change and an impact and an influence in the lives of others you are here you are alive in this earth god can use you tonight he can use you today. Grab your Bible, get a notepad and a pen, I always tell you. Amen. I am going to declare the word of God to you. I'm giving you 12 declarations to stand on for your 2021. It's not religious. You need to declare the word of God. There is nothing wrong in you declaring things upon your life. Speaking that word. There are many voices speaking many things. Do you know that the devil is making declarations over people's lives? The devil is influencing people in a song. What to do with women? What to do with guns? Come on. The devil is making declarations. What are you to do? You are an agent in the earth for God. You are a child of God. You are here to make a difference. Don't give the devil all the work to do. He's doing a bad job. You need to speak the word of God. We have to declare the things of God. The word of God, which is the Bible. We have to speak out the scriptures aloud. Because there is a warfare that is going on for your life, for your salvation. And if you do not speak the word of God, the word of truth, you will give the devil more eyes. And we cannot afford to do such a thing. You are to open your mouth, confess the scriptures, speak the word of God, and you shall live, you and your entire household. Somebody needs to be saved. Saved from what? Saved from darkness. Save from hopelessness. Save from the fires of hell. Do you know that there are people in the earth and they are already set on fire for hell? Somebody needs to pull out a burning stick from hellfire. Somebody needs to, put out, to pull out a burning stick, as the scripture says, from hellfire. Now, when I begin to speak the word... Amen, beloved. Listen. Should I depend on who is listening to you? Who is looking at me? Who does not want to look at me? Should I depend? Should I be confused of those who I cannot capture? The crowd that does not want to listen? No. No. If you wait, beloved, on someone to like you, it might never happen. Do not wait to rise on anyone. Do not wait to rise. Do not wait to rise dependent on anyone. Your position in Christ is not dependent on anyone. If it was so, we were all as good as gone, judged, condemned, and dead. Because there will always be a, a crowd out there or someone that will never listen to you or may never like you. Nevertheless, all the more, you must preach this word. Go with me now to the scripture, book of Hebrews, chapters 4 and verse 12. 
I want you to take note, write this down. For your month of January, you are to proclaim. You will speak. I'm declaring it over you now. You will speak the word of God. Live it. Yeah. Walk in it. You say you, you, you were able to speak it all the time, but you were not really living it and walking in it. This year, 2021, I'm telling you, you are going to speak the word of God. You are going to live it out. You will not fail this time. You will not look like a hypocrite. You will not live contrary. Oh no. Speaking one thing and doing something else. You will walk in it. You will pray the scriptures. You will pray out the word of God. You will read it. And you will preach this word. Say I receive. Say I receive it Lord. Amen. That is for your month of January. And we're standing on this script here. For the word of God is living and active. Did somebody hear me? I said the word. The word of God. The script here is the Bible. Is alive and active. If you are feeling as though life is leaving you. And you want to die. You need to read the script here. There is life. In the word of God. Amen. Sharper than any double-edged, two-edged sword. It penetrates even dividing soul and spirit. What is God saying to you? This time around, what I'm going to do when my word arises and you speak it, I'm going to cut through those nitty-gritty problems that you have. Those places that no one see. The dark traces, the dark places, the problems that, that you cannot solve. The word of God is going to cut through sharp. And bring it out in the light. And you will be delivered. Come on now. Joints and marrow. Cutting through joints and marrow. It judges. Hear that now? I was looking at somebody today. And they said. Um, the believer or the Christian. No one has a right to judge. That is not true. I'm here to teach you. Script here. There is no such thing that you do not have a right to judge. Listen to me. Listen to me. I'm teaching you. The scripture revealed that we, the saints and the believers, will judge the earth together with Jesus in the end. I do not judge you. No. According to the scriptures, I can make a righteous judgment about you. According to the, to the law book, to the Bible. What happens when someone goes to court? Why does the police arrest you according to this law? Why are you judged before the court? Because you broke a law according to this law, according to whatever it, it may be in your respective land. Therefore, if I be make a judgment upon you, it will be according to the Bible, this law, according to the word of God. So beloved, hallelujah, the word will judge the situation that you are in. And wherever you are being taken advantage of, the word is coming to your rescue this year. Month of February, you want to take note. You will sit at the table expecting to be served with more. Do not tell yourself that you will die in lack, that you will remain in poverty. Do not be afraid of what you are looking at in front of you, those bills. The thousands of dollars that you are owing. I am telling you. You need to declare this word. You will. Say I will sit at the table. Expecting to be served with more. Have an expectation of wealth. You know I see some people you know. I see Christians saying. I, I saw a uh, 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 brother saying the other day. He said um, the world is ending. And some of you preachers are still preaching sow a seed and, and prosperity. Hello. If you do not believe in prosperity and if you do not believe that the God of the Bible, that the Spirit of God that we serve does not want you to prosper, then you can remain in poverty. But I believe in prosperity preaching. You heard me right here. I believe in prosperity teaching. And the reason why you don't have a, a harvest is because maybe you never sowed a seed. Ask the farmer what happens. For him to reap a full crop, what does he do? He plants the seeds for the plant to produce a crop. 
the same principle is applied in the spirit. If you want to stop being in bondage of bills, debts, and poverty, you need to start giving God your little seed, your little money. Amen. So I'm declaring over you, you will sit at the table, and these are the things I'm telling you that will help you to stop expecting less when you sit at the table. You first have to understand that God needs to touch the lack and the little that you have and the poor state that you, you are in. How he's going to do that? You are going to have to pull out and plant your little seed. Listen, you will sit at the table, I'm saying it again, expecting to be served more. I'm declaring over you. You will not suffer like your past generation. You will not rot and die in poverty. You will have more. You and your entire household will have more. Repeat that here. Yeah? And we're standing upon the script here. Yeah? You will be fed with the finest of wheat. With honey from the rock. I will satisfy you, says the Lord. And that scripture is taken from Psalms chapters 81 and verse 16. We're looking at the month of March. This is your declaration. I'm giving you it as the months go on. I have 12 dec declarations here for you. Proclamation. Amen. Decrees. Confess it. Speak it. I'm looking at March. Here's the third. You will be rewarded. Amen. You will be rewarded for your labor. You see, I understand clearly that you have been laboring in the field for years. I understand that you're you're looking at me you're you're a layman you're you're a pastor long in years and you have i'm telling you beyond a doubt you have labored diligently in the field for god in the church you have labored there are some things that you did in the kingdom of god that nobody knows about when you fed someone your last meal when you went the distance and gave someone your passage you have labored in the field and God is letting me to let you know that 2021, this year, you have to declare this word. You will be, you will, you will be rewarded for your labor in the field. God told me to tell some of you that, yeah, because some of you have been really toiling, really putting on some suffering over the years, really going out of your way. The, the Bible says obedience is be better than sacrifice. Mm -hmm. And some of you have been really sacrificing through all the years and really giving of yourself into the kingdom of God, into the things of God. Amen. Some stories I've heard. And God has let me to let you know that you are going to be re rewarded now, more than ever before, for your labor in the field. A great recompense is coming to you. Say that. Repeat it after me. Say, I declare... A great recompense is coming to me. What does that mean? It means referring to payback. It means referring to payback. Maybe somebody have wronged you. Maybe someone has taken advantage of you. Maybe somebody is owing you, rightfully owing you. And God is, is, has sent me to let you know, you will be recompensed. You will be paid for in full. You want to write the scripture down? We're standing upon Ruth chapters 2 and verse 12. May the Lord reward my work come on now somebody may the lord reward your work and your wages that's re that's referring to money listen your wages be full from the lord the god of israel under whose wings you have come to seek refuge you see child listen child of god listen god is seeing every little move you make every step you take he's seeing every sacrifice He's seeing every sacrifice that you have made. And it has not gone unnoted, uncounted for. God is your rewarder. And you don't have to wait to get to heaven to get it, all of it. No, God is telling me that he's going to pour it out on top of you right here, right now. Let's look at our fourth declaration. You will regain strength. Listen to me now. Because many of you, your hearts are feeling. Your flesh is feeling. I have spent many days in 2020 feeling like my life wants to leave me, you know, and my cell phone is so sen uh, sensitized and Facebook is so sensitized that I'm sure Facebook is going to ask me la later, Paula, how is your temperature? <laughs> you know, they're, they're doing their own survey on who has the virus. 
and you all know facebook gets me real angry when they do that when they ask me my temperature you know but they are sensitized so they they are hearing what i'm saying you know so in 2012 i had many months many weeks and many days i was actually sick in 2020 um, a lot I was experiencing, a lot of attacks upon the body, a lot of trials, uh, a lot of attacks. And I felt as though many days my life wanted to snuff out and pull out and leave here. But I understand this because the Lord told me, he said, you're not getting away. I said, what do you mean by that boy? He said, you're not going anywhere. You know why? Because you have to do my work in the earth. And because of that, you are not going anywhere. No free ticket home. No short, no short traveling here. <laughs> Amen. So you want to take that down here? Yeah? May the Lord reward your work. You will, you will regain strength, number four. You will regain strength. Your strength will be renewed more than what you ever had. And the verse that you are standing on from the Bible, the word of God, but those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not go weary. Like, uh, they will walk and not be faint. So I prophesy the scripture over you. I speak it on top of you. I declare it to be so. This is your portion. At this time, let's look at number five. Our fifth declaration now and you're taking notes. You can always review um, the live video on Facebook and take your notes down here. Yeah? You will not be lonely anymore. This is a serious matter. You say, Paula, how serious this matter is? Uh, does it matter to God? Yeah. Oh, yeah, because look at the script here. The Lord said, the Lord God said, it is not good for man to be alone. God said, this is not good before me at all. Yeah. I will make a helper suitable for him. So you are declaring this. Those of you, because actually there are many believers and many people alone. Just in case you are misinformed, there are many people living alone. We have too many folks alone. Too many folks alone. So I'm speaking and declaring the word because you are coming out of that this year. One shall put a thousand to fly. The scripture says somewhere along those lines, two shall put ten thousand you say i need you to strengthen so that you can do more and be more so god is sending you your helper oh my you will not be lonely anymore god is sending you your help your eve your adam is coming your company your family somebody say i receive it lord number six you will be direction for others you will be direction, a direction. You will serve as a lighthouse for many who are in darkness. You will be a direction for others. They will follow you as you follow Christ. Yeah. Now, this thing does not require a degree. Somebody, are you hearing this preacher? I'm saying, hello, listen, you really need to, 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 to stop that. Why do people think they need to, to, to do this sort of natural protocol? Listen, I tell you, Moses led an entire nation of people. He led an entire nation of people from death. And he even opened the Red Sea. If I were to speak to Moses now, we're not sure what we're going to hear because they, in those days, they, they could not speak like us. Yeah. Far less or far more spell a word with two letters in it. Uh, listen to me. The call of God is upon your life. You need to stop shrinking. You need to answer that call. You need to stand in position. And God said he will give you the words to come out of your mouth. Have nothing to do with education there right now. I'm not saying you can't go to school, no. But you have to understand what I'm saying. It's not about textbooks. It's about the call of God upon your life. That's it, yeah? You will be a direction for others. They will follow you as you follow Christ. That's what Paul said. You're standing upon the script here. I declare all the forces of darkness shall... I, I, you will be a direction for others. Sorry, I just missed my script here. And here it is. 
follow my example, Paul said, as I follow the example of Christ. And I want to go quickly to number seven because this is my favorite, really, you know. I declare all the forces of darkness shall bow, shall bow at the step of your feet. All the forces of darkness will have to bow at the step of your feet. What does that mean? They will not be able to carry out. The demonic forces and powers will not be able to take you out on your family. They will not be able to take out your ministry. They will not be able to take out your church. They will not be able to take out your life. The demonic forces that are sent on assignment by the devil will not be able to wipe you out. 2021, I'm preaching to you. Listen, hallelujah. They will have to cringe and crumble and fall at the step of your feet. Every time you move forward in God, a demonic power is coming down. Amen, yeah. I declare all the forces of darkness shall bow at the step of your feet. You want to write the scripture in accordance with that declaration? I crushed them completely and they could not rise. Oh, yeah. They fell beneath my feet. Somebody say that. They fell beneath my feet. You armed me with strength for battle. You made my adversaries. Listen good. That is why it's important for you to be in the Bible. Hello. You made my adversaries bow at my feet. Are you hearing me? Yeah. Are you hearing me? You are, have now engaged and enter a realm and a dimension and a level where the devil is literally afraid of, at you, afraid, your feet will be sounding off like loud noises in the enemy camp. Every time I take a footstep, a demonic power will get deaf, 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 deaf. I'm encouraging you because people are faint. The, 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 the surroundings is in a mess. Listen, people are faint. Big men want to backslide. I must come to you. And that's what I'm doing. And I'm preaching the word. I'm shouting to wake you up. Yes. And keep you where you're supposed to be. Don't die now, sister. Don't die now, brother. Do not die. Don't die. Get up. Rise. Be made whole that's the word yeah be made whole let's look at our eight declaration for the year you want to repeat after me yeah you shall walk on it and own it you shall walk on it and own it feet business again we're, we're about the foot here now feet business again you shall walk on it and own it you will gain ground Wherever you, you walk, where, where, wherever there's treading, you will gain the ground. Yeah, you're standing up on the scripture though. Go walk through the length and breadth. God told um, Abraham it was here. He said, go walk through the length and the breadth and the breadth of the land for I am giving it to you. <laughs> Amen. And just in case somebody get confused, I'm not saying that you're going to take over anybody else's possession. No. <laughs> listen. Amen. Child of God, listen, it's a new season. Listen, I understand what is happening naturally, but hear what? I'm a woman about the spirit, and I'm preaching what I'm seeing in the spirit. And although I acknowledge and recognize what is happening in the world and in the natural, somebody has to rise above that. We need soldiers in the army of God. We need real foot soldiers bearing up arms. And we need people who could see in the spirit who can speak things spiritually and form a whole entire new gauge. Because if you don't do it and I don't do it, who will do it? Somebody needs to declare. Yeah? Somebody needs to declare. Number nine. Number nine declaration. Hallelujah. I declare your life will be kept and preserved and your family and your family's lives your family's lives i declare that your life will be kept and preserved you will not lose it no 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 you will not lose it let me tell you listen to me good huh this plague that you're watching here it came on assignment for who it came for no apologies it didn't come for you 
It didn't come for you. The COVID plague and that curse, it came on assignment for who it came for. It didn't come for you. You have a work to do. And you are yet to be blessed for your soothsayers, naysayers, and in front of your haters. Huh. God will make his name great in blessing you this year. God will make his name great in blessing you. He desires to bless you. Amen. Number 10. You will be a blessing to those who stand with you genuinely. Hello. Listen. It's okay to get a little personal, right? There are a lot of people that don't like me. There are a lot of people that don't like you for whatever reason. You even have fake, you even have haters announcement someone. You even have a hater or two, somebody that literally hate you in, in their heart. And I'll tell you something about that though, because in my experience in casting demons out of people, I'll tell you something. It's really not the actual person per se. It's a demonic power operating inside of them as to why they hate you. But I'll tell you this. I have a message for all of you personally. Yeah. If you hang close to me and you like me, you're a very smart brother or sister. You're very smart. Because I am heading somewhere. And with that anointing, as I get blessed, it is going to capture you also. So go ahead. Let them hit. Let them cut you off. Let them run from you. You have to be wise in 2021. You want to write this down. Know who to connect yourself with. Pull tight to somebody with some anointing. Because God is carrying them places. And you will get captured in the trip. Not everybody that's smart, but I'm helping you out, right? Number 11, yeah. This time, that, no, I'm looking at um, number 10. We are looking at number 10 declaration. You will be a blessing to those who stand with you gen genuinely. That is what I was telling you about there just now. Standing upon this script here. I will bless those who bless you. Woman of God, man of God. Paula, I will bless those. I heard you, Lord. I heard you, Lord. I will bless those who bless you. But let me tell you something, Paula. I t I'm telling you something. I will curse those who curse you. Those who curse you, I will curse them. Where did I get this from? It's the word of God. It's Bible, just in case you never heard it before, yeah? Genesis chapters 12 and verse 3. Number 11 or 11 declaration. Hallelujah. A child of God, those of you who are looking at me on the internet, on Facebook, those of you who are looking at me on social media, please, you want to bless someone else with the declarations, please share it. Share the video, thank you. Share that video, thank you. Share the video, thanks. Amen. Look at this. The time when you pray, this time, this time, not any other year, not before, not last year, not, not all these 20 years, this time, when you pray, your prayers will be answered swiftly. I have a short testimony. In December month, I was praying with a particular selected prayer. And that has to be a real special somebody, right? A particular selected prayer partner, a, a, a woman, a Christian woman. And I, as a matter of fact, let me testify, please. I mean, I don't have to call her name. She would be seeing it and she would know. Um, when I got converted 25 years ago, this same young lady, this woman that I'm talking about, she actually teach me to pray, right? So we're back again after 20, 20 years or so. I, uh, about na uh, last year or year before, I decided to contact her. We wasn't in so much in contact. And for very deep, important reasons, we started back tracking um, to pray together. So I said, look, there are some urgencies. This is a total another dimension now. Yeah, she said, Paula, well, you want to know what? You are a totally different Paula from, from the conversion Paula. Yeah. So um, I said, listen, we have to start praying together. So we were praying in December, just a few weeks ago. 
And I said, look, this happens on a certain day, on Thursday. And I need it to happen on Wednesday. It always happens on Thursday, a certain something. And I said, I um, some sort of processing or transaction. I said, I need it right now to happen. I told her that um, on Wednesday night we were praying. I said, I told her, I need, I need this to happen on Wednesday. Guess what? We prayed Wednesday. Um, we prayed the, the Tuesday night. Sorry. We prayed the Tuesday night. And we called it for. We said, Lord, let this process or this natural happenings take place the next day. Which was totally impossible because it doesn't happen. We called it in prayer. Do you know what happened? The process and the transaction took place. Just as we asked in prayer on Tuesday night, it happened on Wednesday. Child of God, listen to me very carefully. This time, when you pray, your prayers will be answered swiftly. You're standing upon the script here. While I was still in prayer, Gabriel, the man, now although the scripture said the man, it was referring to Gabriel, the, the archangel, was it? Yeah. While I was still in prayer, Daniel said, Gabriel, the man, I had seen in the earlier vision came to me in swift flight. Somebody says swift flight, swift now, swift happenings. I'm preaching to you. Listen, I came to let you know it's going to be swift for you this year, 2021. You don't even have to pray about that matter anymore. The movements of the angels that are on assignment to bless you, ordered by God, sent by God, is going to happen swift now. Yeah. I have seen in the earlier vision, came to me in swift flight, Daniel said, about the time of the evening sacrifice. Well, so it was in those days. So that would have been in the evening, whether it be around six or so. And Daniel said, the same minute I prayed, the same day it was, here it is, I saw Gabriel coming swift. Swift, says the Lord. It shall happen for you. Quickly, quickly. Our 12th declaration, beloved, I'm going to, Leave you. I'm going to pray for you quickly now, coming to an end. This is a 12th declaration. Amen. And you're going to say this. Amen. Hallelujah. The good that never happened to me before, the good that never happened to me before will happen to me now. Amen. And you're running and riding. You're running and riding with this word. As soon as you began to pray, an answer was given. Coming from the same passage with Daniel there. Skipping two verses ahead uh, in front. As soon as you began to pray, an answer was given. Which I have come to tell you. For you are highly esteemed. And God has sent me to let you know. You are highly esteemed. Amen. Therefore, consider the message and understand the vision. Amen. And beloved, I'm telling you, this is not a year for you to faint. It is never a moment and a time for the child of God who has the blessing of salvation, who has the Holy Spirit. Let me tell you something. What you have inside of you, plenty people in the world still do not have it. The gift of life. The gift of salvation. I want you to know. Do not take. The spirit of God in vain. And for granted. Understand. The precious. Gift of God. You are not. Leaving your position. You are not. Leaving your identity. You are not going to cap out. You will not freak out. You will not bow to the tremors and trials that is facing you. You are not going to watch big beasts and giants that are resurrecting to throw people down. And you are not going to faint and be afraid and be cringed and crippled. Father, in the name of Jesus, as I declare these 12 declarations as I did, I pray them on top of your people, those who are listening on the radio station, those who are viewing online, those who are watching on Facebook. My God, I pray that the word remain on the people. I've now joined them in the spirit 
with these declarations and I pray that they shall not escape your hand. I pray that you will lose none, Lord Jesus. I pray for more souls to be saved even right now under the sound of my voice. Under the preaching of the word, I pray that you be healed in body. I pray that you be set free. I pray that you de be delivered from demonic manifestations all about your body, even while you sleep. Loose these people in the mighty name of Jesus right now. Satan, I command you to let go. I release the anointing of God inside of your house, in your life. Hallelujah. I speak healing upon your body in the mighty name of Jesus. Beloved, don't go anywhere. We have much more for you. Be blessed. Share the word with someone until we uh, meet again. Don't go anywhere. We have more word for you coming. We have more messages for you. Bye. Okay, thank you.